In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can install a preset in Premiere Pro and we're going to use JARS Premiere Pro preset version 4.0. Now this is a good selection of uh, effects that are in uh, a package. So all we need to do is just search for JAR Premiere preset. We're going to go in the website here where we can find, well, a lot of information actually. And among this, we, you will find also the these presets. So we have color correction, color grading, etc., etc. If you go down here, you see there are also other versions of this. So if you want to, if you want to jump directly to presets, you can click there, and you'll find this uh, like in the middle of the page. And there you go, back in the same page. So decide which one you want. Probably you want to get the last of the packages available. So I'm going to click on download here in this little link. And this is going to download the presets inside my download folder, which I already done. So remember to extract. And if you uh, leave it in the zip file, they won't be available then for the installation for the import in Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna close everything here, open up Premiere Pro and start here with a new project and just gonna drop in a, a video real quick. And if you don't know how to do the basic actions and you know basic things in Premiere Pro, you can check our Premiere Pro video course in the channel and also other video guides that you find in this playlist. So I'm gonna move forward here. I'm gonna press M to mute because I don't want to hear the audio at the moment. And uh, how do I uh, import the, the effects? Well, I need to be in the effects panel first. If it's not visible, you can go in the window menu and open up the effects panel. And then we need to spot the presets folder inside this, which is this one here, right here. You can also expand. You can right click with the mouse and click on import presets if you want to add more. Now again, remember you need to extract, otherwise the file will not be visible. So uh, that's the extracted folder there. I can delete the zipped folder now. And now if I right click, import, navigate in my download folder, those will be inside this. And actually it's one file and it's a package. So when I see the format here, this is the correct format for any Premiere Pro presets. So double click and there you go. Now we have the presets inside our uh, interface. So you can see that inside here we have many folders. So inside each folder you have different types of uh, presets. You have presets for audio and then you have compositing. And then if you go down handled, I think this is really nice to simulate the movement of a camera hand uh, with the uh, held, held uh, by a person with a hand and then we have grading tools and to, to do like color correction color coloring and also here looks this will apply a quick uh, look and and feel to your composition and then you have also obsolete folders but i think they, they still can be used and here you have pips so you can transform scale, you can uh, apply some transitions, so animated effects, and miscellaneous. So just go there and experiment. Now uh, I will show you some of these, but uh, there are so many, so you, you, you can take your time and experiment with those. They're not really easy to use once you understand how this is done. It's really, really simple. So let's go up here and uh, so we, we can start with the audio if we want, but um, uh, let's, let's go for this handheld. I think this is one of the best. So you can see the, the, the shot here is pretty steady. It doesn't move too much. It moves a little bit because I've taken this with the camera probably, but if I click and drag this effect, you will see that it's gonna have more movement. So this is basically moving and resizing my file. Let me import an image so we can see this uh, clearly. And I'm gonna navigate in my uh, photos. I'm gonna import a photo here, click and drag. So you can see this is an image, it's static, it doesn't move. If I click and drag this effect, it's going to simulate movement. 
So it looks like, you know, a uh, shot from a camera, but it's not. It's well, from a video camera, but it's, it's, it's uh, from a photo camera, so it's static. And if I look for something specific, I, I can search. Another one we can apply to the images and videos is the current burns effect, which is basically, you can see here, something that is going to zoom in slowly and simulate the movement again of a camera, which is not there. We have a static camera, but it simulates like a something that is getting closer. And we can apply that, of course, also to videos. And so uh, just you have some audio files. Well, audio effects more than files because these are just going to manipulate the audio. So you can like announce the voice if you want with the voice over an answer. And then you have like the bad phone line, which is going to make your audio worse probably to simulate, you know, a bad phone and also others. So just try them. Once you understand here, it's really easy. Just drag and drop and that's it. You don't need to do anything more than that and let me show you just a couple of more so matte contrast so this is going to affect you see the colors is going to make everything black and white it's looking like you know cartoon or something a uh, piece of paper so really high contrast and this one here is you see cutting the cropping the the side and some of these can actually be visible in a preview. So if you expand and select, and again, handled. So same thing, click and drag. Let's check this other one. I think they're going to look all pretty similar in a way. But uh, actually, I want to show you a little bit more here. If we go in the effects control, you can see that this is basically a movement. So it's motion graphic. It's a, animated uh, motion that you can also customize. You can do your own if you, if you have time and patience or just go here and customize the preset. But that's all it is. It's just, you know, a series of Premiere Pro effects. And by the way, if you don't find that panel, you can always look it in the window menu. And these are others. So you can see some of these can be actually previewed in the right side. So these are other uh, working with the desaturation of the shadows and et cetera, et cetera. Sharpening tools and un unsharpening tools for the image, et cetera, et cetera. And let's see here. This is uh, saturation, for example. And Let's go in the looks. Looks are more dramatic. They are more radical. So if you apply one, this is you know pretty strong and pretty visible. So let's go for this. You can see it. It's like I'm simulating some film look. And matte transition. These are animated. So if you see here, there is an animation of this matte transition, and then this is a sweep swish and pen and you can try all the others well you get the idea i think that's good enough for this video guide so if you enjoyed please subscribe to the channel to stay updated for more and if you want to thank us if you want to support us please join the channel as a supporter this will help us to create more videos and also check the premiere pro video course and other video guides in the playlist so again thanks for watching and see you in the next video